There are a few things that I'd like you to know about the smoking of cannabis or pot and marijuana and the development of uh, schizophrenia and other severe psychotic disorders. It's actually now well established that smoking marijuana increases your likelihood of developing schizophrenia and similar disorders. It's also known that the younger you are when you smoke cannabis, the more likely you are to develop schizophrenia. What my research has shown is something in addition to that, and that is that if you smoke cannabis and you do develop schizophrenia, you will develop that condition three years earlier than you would otherwise have done. Now, that's important for two reasons. Um, the first reason is that schizophrenia is a pretty bad thing to have. It's a lifelong disabling condition, uh, which means if you develop schizophrenia that you'll hear things that other people can't hear, often voices, see things that other people can't see, and believe things that other people can't believe. And that makes it very difficult to get along with other people. The second thing is the three years. Well, three years doesn't sound like very much, but schizophrenia comes on relatively early in life. And that three years can make all the difference between um, getting your first job, um, completing your education, um, going on your first overseas trip, um, having your first partner. Um, in addition, the later schizophrenia develops, the more mild it is. Now, um, I'm not here to judge people or to um, tell anyone what to do or what not to do, but when thinking about smoking marijuana, I think it's best to know all the available facts and um, really all the evidence now suggests that smoking cannabis does bring on schizophrenia and it brings it on earlier, quite a lot earlier.